is a sweetheart, isn't he? Hi everyone, my name is Mary. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on bell notifications because I make about two to three videos a week so you don't wanna miss out. I'd say I'm more active on my Patreon account, for example. If you're a patron, you've already seen this video. So if that's something that interests you, definitely check it out. Link is gonna be in my description box below. Welcome to part three of this video. If you are watching this, then you've probably watched part one and two. In this video, we are going to continue on with the Fellowship of the Ring. So so let's get into it. I like his hair. I want another tin tan. Yes, so much. Responsibility. I know why you seek solitude. You suffer. I see it day by day. He's an empathetic sure soul. I love Boromir. You to defend my okay. She would let me die. No. Jeez, he's getting a little bit intense Why here. You recoil, I am no thief. You are not yourself. It is not oh yourself. Oh God! Just he's just mine. little, little alone. Give it to me. Give it to me. No. Oh my no. God! No. What is with him? What's going? On? No. Yes. Yes, you go, Frodo. Burn me! What's your deal, you man? <laughs> Just when I was like, yeah, I love Boromir, he goes and does it crazy. I swore to protect you. Yeah. Can you protect me so from yourself? Else. Everyone's turning on the poor guy and he's just like this little dude. Would you destroy it? It's like, pick on someone your own size, guys. It's like every time they get even remotely close to the ring, everyone goes crazy. Getting very intense here. Oh my god. Yes. Kill him, kill him. Oh no. Don't tell me Boromir dies. The last arrow, I can't see this bit. Oh my god, did I just Jesus? Holy shit. What are these things? Got his arm. Kill him. Yeah, take vengeance. Wow, that is a sharp ass knife. Just chop off someone's head like that. I just, I don't think he's made it alive. The little ones. The little ones. Frodo. Where is Frodo? I let Frodo go. And you did what I could not. 
Let him go. Try to take the ring from him. Can he just put him out of his misery because this guy is like... Now, please, just put him out of his misery. He's got three arrows in him. This is so sad. He really died. He really, really died. Rest easy, King. Oh, he deserves this kind of send off. Poor baby. Look at that. Look at his beautiful ass eyes. I don't want to believe Gandalf's dead, though. What? Of course you are. Oh. And I'm coming with you. Alone? You can't swim. I don't think he should do that. I really don't. Oh my god, don't tell me Sam. Sam's gonna... Sam. Jesus. He's literally just gonna swim when he can't swim. <laughs> he for sure loves him. Like... Uh, there's no other reason. Like, loves him in a romantic way. I think. <laughs> and that's how you get your way. <laughs> Crazy son of a bitch. I made a promise, Mr. Brown. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. Oh. And I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Oh. Sam. Oh, that's actually really sweet. <laughs> Sam is a sweetheart, isn't he? Oh, that was beautiful. He would die for his friend. Only Gandalf got the send-off that he deserved too. No, okay. He didn't deserve that. They just That's how he's gonna Sorry. chuck his body out the fucking waterfall? I can't believe Samwise joined him out of everyone. Like he's not even the best fighter. But he is damn loyal, I'll give him that. I do love that ending. Directed by Peter Jackson. Oh. So I finally saw one of Peter Jackson's films. I've got to say that the very beginning when they're in the Shire and the last 40 minutes were my favorite parts of the film. The beginning because it was really cute and I loved the Shire and seeing all of the hobbits. Get ready for Bilbo Baggins' 111th birthday, apparently. I read so on Wikipedia. And um, the middle part was a lot of fighting and typically I don't watch action films. I definitely think that this film could have had a lot more uh, character building. I know that this film is already super long. It's three hours and 48 minutes and with 20 minutes of credits. So it's a it's a very long film. This extended edition is huge. Um, but you know, when I compare it to say Game of Thrones season one, they had 10 episodes, so 10 hours to capture the essence of the first book. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring didn't have nearly as much time. Three hours and 20 minutes essentially is, I don't think enough time to develop the characters. And I think that is where I lacked. I lacked investment in a lot of the characters and there were so many different characters to try and remember their names. For example, I don't re even remember what the guy who is in love with that elf I don't remember what his name was. I think that it would really help me if I read the books. And I, I'm not sure, maybe you guys can tell me in the comment section below. If you watched this in 2001 when it came out in the cinemas, did you watch it having read the books and you already invested in those characters? Or did you watch the film first and it gave you a little taster and it made you want to read the books? 
I'm actually really interested to know. I think I will now read a little bit more into the characters just on the wikis before I dive into the second film. And I did sit through three hours and 20 minutes of filming. So I'm looking at the time right now, it's 3.02 p.m. and uh, my memory card ran out of data. So I had a little bit of an intermission. I got hungry, so I had a bit of a snack. I transferred the data from my SD card to my hard drive, which took a little bit of time. So I did have a short break, but generally I was just sitting down watching the entire film with no break. I think if I watch the second movie, I'm probably just gonna have a break. My main reason for not having a break is so that I could maintain light. It tends to get a little bit darker around 4 to 5 p.m. in Australia right now because we're in winter, so I was trying to avoid that. But I think if I want my brain to be the most focused, I definitely need to have a break. So that's probably how I'm gonna do the second and third movie. I'm thinking I won't dive into the second movie just yet. I'm thinking I want to see the first Star Wars movie next. I think that'll be really fun, but I will continue the Lord of the Rings series for sure. I don't wanna just leave it at that. I definitely wanna find out what happens next. And they left it at a really good spot. Samwise this isn't the best being to join Frodo in his mission to try and destroy this ring, but he definitely is the most loyal. We've seen that. He almost died just so he could be with Frodo because he made a promise. And that was really sweet. Out of everything, that made me really emotional. I guess because that character kind of reminded me a little bit of Bob Newby in the second season of Stranger Things in that he's also super loyal and just kind of reminded me of that and I got a little bit emotional. I also was emotional during Boromir's death and I think I read at one point like many years ago, maybe it was a meme, maybe it was like just a post or something that Sean Bean almost always dies in every role that he plays. So it's almost like if you're watching a Sean Bean movie, it's a spoiler because he's gonna die. I think I've read something like that online and I didn't expect his death. I didn't even remember that until he died. And it was still such a sad death because he was one of my favorite characters as well as Gandalf. And I do remember seeing a meme or hearing the little sound bite, my precious, but I always thought it was like a Dobby looking figure that said that, except we saw Bilbo Baggins say that. So I don't know if Gollum says that in the second or third movie, but when he does, I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna say, oh, that's where that's from. Yeah, I feel like I definitely need to invest a little bit more into these characters, and then maybe I will enjoy the second and third movie a little bit more. I certainly liked it, don't get me wrong, but I do see what George R. R. Martin meant when he said that The Lord of the Rings was basically the very first fantasy that the world ever really knew. George R. R. Martin's characters are very gray, whereas you could see in The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, that these characters were either black or white, and it was it's a battle between right and wrong. And beyond that, the characters don't have as much, I guess, complexity to them, really. So I think that those are the major point of differences that I noticed in, um, Game of Thrones compared to The Lord of the Rings just on initial impression because I know that George R. R. Martin is always coined as the American Tolkien but I don't necessarily agree with that. Yes, he's created this amazing fantastical world but I do think that there are differences in the two worlds and the, and the characters, they're all just very different. So those were my first impressions, my initial reaction, my thoughts, my review on Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. But yeah, do leave me your comments on what you thought of this movie down in the comment section below. Like this video if you want more content like this. It is coming first on my Patreon and then on my YouTube. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and push the bell notification if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye guys.